Hello everybody, my name is EK, you are watching EK Tech and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the version 2 update for the DirectX 12 performance mod. I have done a video on this like, I think like half a year ago or something, uh, that was version number 1. Um, he has officially announced that this is going to be version number 2 and version number 2 brings quite a lot of improvements. I was initially thinking that I could do like a big comparison again where I did multiple benchmarks and I compared them in terms of numbers and had like percentage increases and stuff there but I realized very quickly when doing that that even though that was very much still a valid way to go a lot of the old stuff is still very much intact the only difference is that the the difference between the numbers is bigger so if the improvement was initially 20% the improvement is now probably 30% so there wasn't really anything to talk about that wouldn't just be, hey, these numbers are bigger. So what I decided to do is I decided to instead focus on one main point, and that is stability. So in the background right now, you can see some gameplay that I tried to record at the highest quality possible without really impacting the frames. So do keep in mind that even though you see 40 FPS right now, that would of course be a bit higher were not recording at full 1080p resolution. So having said that, the thing to look at right now is both the FPS that you can see in the bottom right corner, but it's well in the overlay that has been provided. Now, the overlay that you can see displays the exact frame times and FPS, and this makes it so that we can very much look at the stability of the frames. By the way, don't look at my gameplay. I'm not a World 3 World player. Actually, I haven't even played Guild Wars in the past couple of months, really. So I just returned for this one video, so please don't bitch about my, uh, my insanely good gameplay. Anyway, talking about the actual gameplay at hand, you can very clearly see that when I'm in the map, you know, the FPS is spiking all over the place because like you're loading and stuff and that really impacts FPS. But when you're just playing, the actual FPS is very stable. The frame times are actually very good. And you can see that the thing that usually happens in Guild Wars is when you move your camera to the left and to the right, you will see a lot of the time your FPS has like these minor dips where uh, it might be uh, 100 and then it dips to 30 for like a millisecond and then it goes back up to 100. Now, in statistics, you wouldn't really see this because, um, you know, it's, it's like a millisecond and nobody even cares. But in actual gameplay, you would very much see it. So as you can see, I'm switching the camera back and forth right now, and it actually looks pretty damn solid. So what I'm doing now is I'm leaving World Free World and I'm actually going to Lion's Arch for a bit. Now, this is because this is also one of those notorious places where the FPS is actually really damn bad. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running around here for a bit and we're going to be looking at the FPS differences between the different character model limit settings. So that does mean that the rest of these settings will not be touched. So we won't be changing any LOD distance, reflections, textures, shadows, whatever. They'll all remain identical, pretty much maxed out. Uh, right now we're running the... Um, character model limit at highest and you can see that we're sitting in the mid 20 fps range now once again do keep in mind that i am currently recording the gameplay alongside the fact that i'm playing it so this would probably be a little bit higher if i were not recording i actually did test this and generally you can add about 10 to 15 percent to most of these frames and that will be the rough number that you have so now we have downscaled to high and you can see that it's still pretty similar. I think this is mainly because there weren't enough people to really use highest. So high is pretty much equivalent to highest. Uh, now we're moving down to medium and this is where you can start seeing some pretty decent improvements. We are now sitting at the high 30s, uh, closing in on the 40s. And I think this is the sweet spot if you still want a lot of character models, but you still want very smooth gameplay. Um, so this would... in Normal circumstances, we probably a bit closer towards the 40 mark, which I consider, while I'm not in combat, to be very much playable. Now we're moving down to low. You can see, once again, the difference isn't huge. Uh, this is why I don't think it's really necessary to use low as an option. Uh, we're still sitting at like the mid 30s and, you know, nothing has really changed here.
But once again, where I do want to direct your attention is to the upper left corner where you can see the frame rate and it's just super stable. It doesn't bump down at random and it just it, it's just a pleasant experience in general. Now we have bumped it down to lowest and you can see that we are crossing over a bit more into the low 40s, uh, but still it's pretty similar to medium. And this is why I consider medium to be generally the sweet spot. Alright, so now before we end this video, I did want to take a quick moment and also go into an area where I'd be a bit more alone just to see what happens when there is not someone else around me. And you can see that once again, it looks very smooth. Yes, the FPS isn't really skyrocketing, but that's simply because of the recording. I would generally have a way bigger improvement here, so this might be like 110 or something. The recording is simply keeping the FPS down for a bit. Now, I think I've talked about most of the stuff that I want to talk about regarding the mod. I do want to say that the developer of this mod, which is not me by the way, uh, a lot of people seem to assume, because I did the previous videos, that this is my mod. It is not. I'm simply some random YouTuber who likes the game and who likes uh, mods like these and I just cover them so please don't ask me any questions related to the back end because I have no idea anyway talking about the developer I do want to say that from what I understand he does this in his free time and he is not being officially paid for this he does however have a patreon so if you do want to support him I am going to put a link to his patreon account or patreon page actually in the description so please if you have some spare money help this guy out give him a couple euros and you know have him hang around because we want to see a version 3 so thank you very much for watching guys have a nice day and i will see you around